We're live with Joe. The chorus, we talk. They'll record it, so. Wow, look at that, Corey. Corey, you got the big screen on? Yeah, uh, yeah. Wow, look oh, no, at that. No, I do, hang on. I'm so... Very nice, Joe. Can you tell us what we're looking at? Yeah, so this, this, all this down here, this is all uh, pro Utah. It's about an hour south of Salt Lake City, uh, where they have the 2002 Olympics. Um, and this, is, this mountain over here, this mountain range, or sorry, that mountain right over there, that's Timpanogos. Um, there's lots of skiing and up there, you know, stuff like that. And this is uh, just a you know, nice trail that goes through big mountains over here. You know, it's just, you know, it's it's kind of hard to see in the hangout, but when you look at these mountains as close as I am, it's, um, it looks fake. They're so huge. They're so close to you. It just looks fake. It almost looks like a postcard. Exactly. And um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but just right above my finger, this is Utah Lake. And they're all the way towards the edge of the horizon. Is, is that stunning. anywhere Thank near the, the Great Salt Lake as we know it? Uh, no, it's, it's actually Utah Lake. Salt Lake. Uh, the Great Salt Lake is going to be up over the, the mountains over here. Okay. Sure. I, I sent her one as well. Yeah. Wow, that's a nice scene. This is oh, it's, I just purchased it at the, it's a beautiful day today, too. It's nice and warm. It's warmer than it's ever been this, uh, this month. So we thought it would be a good time to come check it out, test it out, just go on a little walk. And it's working great. Yeah, how's the, how's the coverage? Is, am I lagging at all? What's that like? Yeah, it, it's not too bad. It's nice. I wish you had a, a headset on a little bit. I think like we tested yesterday, I think I would hear you a little bit better. Yeah, so uh, the headset makes a real difference for hearing. Right. Hey, That's Monica. Right. Just, uh, yeah, our friend Monica just joined us. John, can you just introduce everybody in the room real quick and, and who's joining us? We have them, Monica, we have Bruce Garber, we got Corey, and myself, John Butterell, and we're with Jared in Utah looking at the mountains, and he's doing a test on a virtual tour of the mountains and uh, what we're going to do is record this so that uh, it's it is a test so everybody be patient with us and we're doing another one on Tuesday and Jared do you want to tell us what you uh, you're going to do for us on Tuesday yeah um, can you guys hear me now is this any better that's a lot better yes thanks Jared. okay so yeah I, I just plugged in my headphones um, so on Tuesday I'm you know just planning on Taking a, a little walk through the mountains, going down this trail that I'm not sure if you can see this. There's just a trail that walks through here. And just walk up and get close uh, to the mountains, see if we can see anything. And don't uh, talk. show you this beautiful don't view. Jared, don't talk too fast. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh. I just saw one of my trees, you will. Oh. <laughs> Corey wants you to take a picture of a tree. Oh, a tree? <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right. I, I yeah, can survive. That one. The, the, that one. She likes those trees. Oh, yeah? Great. Yeah. Um, I'm frozen here. So. Okay, I'm off out. I'm still. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. I'm just telling you I may have to drop out and come back. Okay. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. I'm back. Yes, please. Yes, welcome to the type of trees I like. <laughs> See, John. Didn't take you long to tell, find out which one it was. <laughs> <laughs> I like bare, complex trees. They do something for me. I don't know why. Boy, is it ever a pretty day? Yeah, what's the temperature up there, Jared? It's absolutely gorgeous today. It's um, 
it's about 50 degrees, blue skies. I mean, you can just see that. There's not a cloud in the sky today. Beautiful. You can see my wife over on the horizon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. You, it's always good to have some scale so people know how big things are. <laughs> So there's, a, there's a big tree right over here. I'll go over towards. Isn't that, is this normal? I thought you'd have more snow. Uh, normally, we, yeah, we have, you know, a good couple feet of snow. Uh, this has been a really dry year. Um, For everyone, it's mm. Yeah, I have reports from around the world that it's been, you know, what winter? We didn't have a winter. We yeah. had a very cold fall of last of the few months after. Oh. Oh, very nice. This, this is, I've only been through Utah once, and that was on my trip out to California. So I only saw it through the windows of, of the van. And this is wonderful. Thank you. You're so welcome. Hey, Ellie, come here. Let's give them a little perspective on how big the mountains are. Just stand in front and I'll show you. Jared, what's your wife? What's your wife's name, Jared? I'm not, yeah. What's that, what, Bruce? What, I was just asking, what's your, what's your wife's name? There's no barking. Ellie. Ellie. I'll tell Ellie. Yeah, Thank my wife's name is Ellie. Thank to help put this together with us. <laughs> It's a beautiful view. Just, oh, just beautiful. The mountain range. I wish you could see the ones down here better. Uh, we might have to take a drive down there and look at those ones too. Um, but those are just gorgeous. They got lots of snow on them. The color is amazing. That sky is so blue. Yeah, over that, against the snow, it's just amazing. What's the temperature like right there? Um, right now it's uh, between 40 and 45 and 50 degrees. And, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really, really warm today. Yeah, that's, that's great. So, yeah, it hasn't been this warm all year, <laughs> pretty much. So. so, Joe, do you want to switch cameras again and come on back and maybe some of our guests in the room have a, a question or two for you about What's it like living in Utah? And I mean, that's a beautiful. Um, back, back to my computer, just like this. Wow. Hi, John. Hello, Don. So, Corey, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling all right. I've got a full house, all five kids. And, uh, oh, wow. Monica and I know each other, mm -hmm. yeah. and we are very happy to be asked to sort of help test this setup. Yeah, Jared, did you bring your guitar with you? Um, no, I, I, I didn't know this was going to be recorded, so I didn't bring my guitar with me. Um, I figured Tuesday would be the better time to do that. Um, <laughs> But Monica, yeah. Corey, you can make me a song request now, and he'll uh, start rehearsing for two. Yeah. <laughs> what type of music do you specialize in? Um, I can I can play all sorts of music. Anything that you like and enjoy, I'll be able to learn to play for you. I love all John Denver. I'm a huge John Denver fan. I I play a couple John Denver songs, so that's great. Oh, good. Um, I like Luke. Uh, Luke music from the 14th century. I don't... I'm sorry, I'm being a smart ass, aren't I? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes. 
I like anything bluesy. Okay. Ooh, blues, too. Yeah. I, I like the blues. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I'm gonna Play some of the blues. Um, Bill Withers. Do you like Bill Withers? Mm-hmm. Oh, I can great. play a song from him, and um, yeah, I can yeah. play some of those. Yeah. Have Basically, some of those. Anything, yeah. anything written before 1960 makes me happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, not anything, but you know. I'll see what I can uh, what I can pull out of my repertoire. Yeah, it's not a requirement. I know I have brothers. <laughs> yeah, I have my grandparents' taste in music, and my grandparents lived through World War One. <laughs> uh, well, I um, I uh, my grandpa uh, fought in World War Two, and you know, okay. at his ninetieth birthday, my dad and I played a couple of his favorite songs. So okay. maybe I can. Uh, Play yeah. some of those for you. Yeah. Corey, do you um, like Edith Piaf? Um, let's check. Am I still alive and con able to think and hear? That's a yes, so that's the answer to the <laughs> other question. Yes, too. I love her stuff. Oh, I could listen to it all the time. Oh, and I would like to say something, um, which uh, I'm pretty sure his mom can understand. When um, I sort of, you know, called out to my kids, sorry, sorry guys, I'll have to catch you um, another time to watch the movie Go Enjoy Without Me. There was one, they said, why? I said, because um, I'm busy, I have a job to do. And there was a long pause when I just said that, I just heard myself saying that, I said, I have a job to do. I can help do something that helps other people. I actually have something to do. And, um, John, are you getting the idea of how much that meant to me? I know, Corey. Don't worry. We're taking yeah. care of it. Yeah. What 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 I could have dealt with is I now have four jobs to do. I'm like, okay, guys. Four at a time. You could have you could have lined me up one at a time instead. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. Well, you guys get ready for you guys get ready for Tuesday, and then we're doing Rome on Wednesday. So there's two oh. in a row here. Oh cool. Uh, Monica, mm -hmm. with uh, Hugo is doing Rome on Tuesday. I'll have the exact times of when he's going to be on air. So everybody okay. get a nap, rest up, and uh, that's going to be exciting. Monica, on Tuesday, huh? I, hang on, yeah. i got to see what my doctor appointments are. Oh, I have no I doctor appointments till Friday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jared, yeah, this is your Oh, phone. and you guys, guess what? The MRSA is like 98% gone. Oh, nice. Very good. Hooray. That's great. I, I think I've just about beat it. Nice. That's yeah. awesome, Monica. Saving Thank your you. sight is rather great way to say. Yeah, it's it's out of my eyes. So Yay. Jared's had well, a few health issues himself, so uh yeah. he's totally relates to yeah. this. Yeah, I uh there's a point in my time or in my life where um I was in a wheelchair and crutches and could barely walk and um I've had three reconstructive hip surgeries and you know, so you know, our, now you're wandering around. Uh, yeah, now I'm now I'm up in the mountains, the, walking around. And, by the way, if you could, you wouldn't mind taking a picture of that ridge, the one. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, this one up, this one up here. Yeah. I would love to. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'll take a picture of it and I'll tag you in it. Okay, wonderful. So, Jared, just as so, we wrap up the recorded portion of this virtual photo walk, your first virtual photo walk with some of our friends, can you just wrap up on how it felt for you to be part of this? Oh, it's been great. I mean, um, you know, I know what it's like to be in a hospital and, and to not have the ability to go outside and walk around and see these wonderful places. Um, you know, so because I've experienced that, I know how important it is to those people, you know, uh, 
who who want to see it and you know because of this opportunity this wonderful technology that we have and we're we're able to do that we're able to show people around and you know go around the world literally in days you know Rome on Wednesday Utah on Tuesday and you know I saw on the about page that you guys have already have a, a lot more places planned and the the opportunity that Google has given us to do this is just absolutely incredible and I'm so happy to be a part of it. And it's a little bit different, Jared, from basically doing a video recording and pushing that out there. This is a two-way, this isn't what Google has given us, a two-way interactive video that we're actually yeah. having interactive conversations with people from around the world via this Google Plus Hangout platform. And, uh, John yeah, exactly. I mean, say, you know... Oh, no, you're fine. Um, just, um, you know, take a picture of that ridge right there. You wouldn't be able to do that in a video because we have this two-way yeah. communication. You can tell me what you like and what you enjoy, and, you know, I can, you know, focus in on that. Exactly. Right. Yes, and, and John, as John will tell you, that sometimes a mix, mix, blessing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to add Google Latitudes to this, too, so we can follow your route. So we know exactly where you are as well. Oh, that is wonderful. Can you get just just the view I'm seeing behind? Actually, I have a better idea. Would your lovely wife please take a picture of you in the ridge behind you so I can have that? Absolutely, yes. I, yeah, she can do that for me. Um, I'd ha I'll have to exit the Hangout to do that, but I'll tag you in it so you can see it in just a couple of minutes, okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so great. that's the picture I want. And Monica, would you like okay. to add anything to this first virtual photo walk that Jared's taking us on in the Utah mountains? Uh, yeah. Uh, let me let me have a look around the panorama to see what I'd like to to take. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick. Okay. So this is the north, um, the north part of Utah the direction I'm facing, and I'll go west until I get to south. And then I'll just keep going around. Okay, let me... Hold on, let me come over here. <laughs> I like the two trees. <laughs> when you were back this way. Uh -huh, these right two there. trees over here? Yeah. Yep. Those two. Okay. Uh, okay. Back, back, you went around. No, I, 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 I know. Um, do you want me to focus in on those right now, or do you want me to take a picture of them? Uh, when you went... Like, go back the way you were before. Like this? Or like this? Yeah, there like you. that. There you go. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. It. We have the same taste, Monica. Yeah, I like okay. that. I am so shocked that we have similar taste photos. I will take a picture of that for you. Okay, thank you. And tag one tree, Corey, and tag the other tree. <laughs> okay. I like very much trees as a... Uh, that's a lovely picture, by the way. You know. Oh, that's the silhouette great. of your wife against the rising mountains. It gives it something... It gives it scale. Yeah. So that's a full circle right there. So I'll get those pictures for you guys, and I'll get you tagged in them as soon as I can. This awesome. is making me Thank so you. happy. This is so yeah. cool. Wow. Great. Well, I'll go ahead and take those pictures right now. It was such a... Monica, I know we have we have chatted before, but Corey, it was so nice to meet you and chat with you and uh, get this started. Yeah, like this picture right here. That, okay. The way it's framed, like with the... Like kind of the scrub right here in the corner. Mm -hmm. That's It's very artistic. Okay, I, I'll, I'll get a couple of those and upload them for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hop out and snap these pictures for you guys. Okay, right, very good. So Thanks, much. Jared, so much for taking us on this walk. And we look you guys are so welcome. We'll see you soon. Thank you, you Jared. All right. Thank you thank so you. much, Jared. Bye. All right. And, John, just a little closing wrap-up before I kill the, uh, the recording. Just yeah. give us um, a closing statement from you. This is your brainchild on on the virtual photo walks, and just tell us um, your thoughts on this first photo walk from Jared in the mountains of Utah. When, well, when I first took Corey for, and, and told Corey I was going to take her for a photo walk, she, was, she broke into tears, and seeing this happen in Utah 
and with Monica and Corey here, I'm 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 really choked up. We we've created something really magical, and it's it's special to me. It really is. It is. Uh, it's it's very powerful. <laughs> you know, it's uh, when I go out and I try and do this on my own, I constantly end up with a uh, well pneumonia. Like I I went out yesterday, and to make a long story short. I think I'm going to get a cold and I may get pneumonia. I I went into the mountains and it was very silly of me. I've now got a cold. I've got something in my chest. I just wanted to take some photos. It was very silly. Yeah, because anyway. it's oh. something that we both have to be really careful of because right. what's a small cold for you guys turns into pneumonia. I've had, I've had pneumonia. I I have my annual bout of pneumonia, and that tells you, you know, it's kind of delicate living in these bodies of ours. Right. Yeah. But the most important thing I'd like to say is, this is an incredible gift, and I thank you for that. And I am very pleased to be a small part of helping organize to continue. Helping to spread it for more people. Thank you. Thank you. Because it's really like the gift of life, because otherwise, you know, people with. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kind of hard headed and determined, and I always go out there and I'm like, well, maybe my body will be different this time around, and it never <laughs> is. <laughs> no. So when you guys do this for us, like, you're really like extending our lives. <laughs> So thank Out you. Into the world. If you yeah. can add one, I came you up get... with the line today: "Walk the walk for people that can't," and I think yeah. that's uh, going to become quite the buzzword for this because yeah. you know, get out there and walk the walk, people. Yeah. And on that note, sure. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today, and especially for Jared for taking us to the mountains of Utah. Thanks so much, Jared, and. We look forward to seeing you again on this coming Tuesday. Thanks, Thanks Jared. Thanks, Jared. Thank you.